Welcome to U.S. Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Trump tries reappropriating insurrection on January 6 anniversary. Louisiana government elect Jeff Landry to be inaugurated Sunday, returning state's highest office to GOP. Trump downplays January 6 on insurrection anniversary, calling jailed rioters hostages. Coal miners in North Dakota unearth a mammoth tusk buried for thousands of years. DeSantis' state of the state address might be as much for Iowa voters as it is for Floridians. Trump tries reappropriating insurrection on January 6 anniversary. Washington Post. Donald Trump has praised people charged in the U.S. Capitol riot while repeating baseless claims that left-wing or government interlopers caused the breach. Speaking in Iowa, the former president referred to those detained while awaiting trial as J6 hostages and called for their release. Trump has increasingly aligned himself with the defendants, pledging to immediately pardon many of them if he returns to the White House. More than 1,000 people have been charged in connection with the breach of the Capitol three years ago. The Washington Post University of Maryland poll found that a majority of Americans believe the events of January 6, 2021 were an attack on democracy and should never be forgotten. Louisiana government elect Jeff Landry to be inaugurated Sunday, returning state's highest office to GOP. Associated Press. Louisiana governor-elect Jeff Landry, a Republican, will be inaugurated on Sunday. Landry, who is known for his conservative positions on issues such as abortion, has served as the state's attorney general for eight years. He won the gubernatorial election in October, beating a crowded field of candidates and avoiding a runoff. Landry has raised the profile of attorney general since taking office in 2016, championing conservative policy positions. He has been involved in debates over banning gender-affirming medical care for transgender youths, the state's near-total abortion ban, and a law restricting youths access to sexually explicit material in libraries. One of his top priorities as governor will be addressing crime in urban areas. Trump downplays January 6 on insurrection anniversary, calling jailed rioters hostages. ABC. Former President Donald Trump has labeled the surge of migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border as the real insurrection, marking the third anniversary of the January 6, 2021 assault on the U.S. Capitol. Campaigning in Iowa, Trump claimed that countries have been emptying jails and mental institutions to fuel the record number of migrant crossings, despite there being no evidence to support this claim. Trump's remarks come as President Joe Biden called January 6 the day when we nearly lost America, lost it all, during a speech near Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. Coal miners in North Dakota unearth a mammoth tusk buried for thousands of years. Associated Press. Miners in North Dakota have discovered a mammoth tusk, bones and teeth thought to be between 10,000 and 100,000 years old in a mine 40 feet deep. They called in experts to examine the finds, which are believed to be remains of the most complete mammoth skeleton ever found in the state. The bones will be donated to the state for educational purposes. DeSantis' state of the state address might be as much for Iowa voters as it is for Floridians. Associated Press. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is expected to make his state of the state address a pitch to Iowa voters to support him in the 2024 Republican presidential primaries. DeSantis has been spending more time in Iowa in the run-up to its first-in-the-nation presidential caucuses than in his home state of Florida. The governor will head back to Iowa after the address, but will still be able to exert influence over the state legislature which is dominated by Republicans and is inclined to do the governor's bidding. At Florida's only public HBCU, students watch warily for political influence on teaching of race. Associated Press. Florida A&M University, FAMU, students fear that a new law signed by Governor Ron DeSantis that blocks public colleges from using taxpayer money on diversity programs will affect the teaching of topics related to race and American history. The law also forbids instruction of theories that systemic racism, sexism, oppression, and privilege are inherent in the institutions of the United States and were created to maintain social, political, and economic inequities. DeSantis describes the law as an effort to rid university classrooms of what he calls left-leaning woke indoctrination. China sanctions U.S. defense companies over Taiwan arms deal. South China Morning Post. China has imposed sanctions on five U.S. defense companies in response to Washington's arms sale deal with Taiwan. The sanctioned firms are BAE Systems Land and Armament, Alliant Tech Systems Operations, Aerovironment, Viasat, and Data Link Solutions. Beijing has banned Chinese companies and individuals from doing business with the sanctioned firms, and all property owned by the firms in China will be frozen. The move follows U.S. approval in December for a $300 million deal with Taiwan to upgrade its tactical information system. China views Taiwan as part of China and has threatened to reunite the two by force if necessary.
Trump barely mentions January 6 on third anniversary of assault on the Capitol. Yahoo! Former President Donald Trump barely mentioned the January 6, 2021, assault on the Capitol as he rallied supporters in Iowa on Saturday, but his speech was centered on countering President Joe Biden's argument that the riot and Trump's broader effort to overturn the 2020 election represent a grave threat to the republic. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6Do Brief via email.